for this setup, I decided to do an Alice in Wonderland inspired cage theme. I have been planning it for a few months now and I've made things like the checkered platform that you see right now and then a hide and I've gotten a lot more mushrooms and painted them in the colors I wanted and then the teacup that you see I also got for this setup. The purple hide I'm putting in I made myself out of poplar wood from Germany and I cut it into two half circles and then I added wooden dowels in between and glued them together and then I painted the whole hide purple and some mushrooms and flowers on it. The big cork log you can see there is supposed to be the hole where Alice comes down when she comes to Wonderland. I wanted to do something in there like when she comes down but I didn't figure out what to do so now it's just a plain cork log. I of course had to include a teacup. I would want to add like a teapot with like a hole in it as a hide because I've seen many of those and they're really cute but I don't have one and they're pretty expensive. Her multi-chamber is in the corner as always. I haven't moved it. It's under the cork log I'm placing. In the middle, dividing the bedding area and the coconut soil, there is a wooden hide and then a ceramic house that I made myself. I'm trying to find space for a cork log in the sand. I always try to fit as much as possible to keep her occupied. It's a little tricky because placing the wheel is hard because it's so big and I really need a waste lid right there so that it's a lot easier to place. I love how this hide looks in the sand bath. It brings a little color to that side because it normally really lacks it. And then I'm adding a bowl of Gypsy Ultra, which is like a wooden pot grind up. The grape wine pieces are added to the sand area as normal. They're so heavy I can't have them on this bedding side unless I have something underneath them to support them. I love how they kind of look like dead tree branches. I While I was doing this, I was thinking that I should add some moss or something on top of them so that they have like foliage, but uh, I forgot to do that, so I just haven't. I'm trying to place them so that they will sit sturdy and then also don't like come over where the lid goes so that the lid is able to close. On every single video featuring a cage I always get questions of where my lids are or if I have lids and I do have lids they're just not in the picture or video because I can't put them up against the wall since there are windows there and which have plants in them, so I can't close them on the plants. I love this blue rainbow ceramic. I use for a hide. It's not actually a hide. I have no idea what it's actually supposed to be, but it fits perfect in a dwarf cage. I need a barrier for right here. Butterfly always kicks the bedding into the coconut soil and it's so hard to divide it. So now the coconut soil is filled with bedding. The teacup was sliding around a little, so I'm adding natural cotton bedding under it so that it won't slide around as much. And yes, cotton bedding or 
not cotton fluff or anything, but cotton bedding made of natural cotton is safe, doesn't tangle around your hamster's feet or anything like cotton fluff would do, which is unsafe. We just never use that for a hamster or any rodent or animal. Then we have come to the mushroom area. I'm adding them down this hill, kind of like a mushroom mountain. The past setups I've done have been really colorful. So the next setup I'm going to do is going to be a step or savanna grass thing kind of setup. So I won't be using all the colorful stuff i will use like a lot of grass sprays and more neutral natural looking thing i have quite a bit of bowls now definitely not as much as some other people have they have like giant collections but i want to include them all so i'm adding the pink flower dish and the terracotta one which i have some blue carefresh in and the other pink flower bowl that i end up with putting rose petals in right now it also has blue bedding all the moss i decided to put in one area so that all the and now visible bedding patches has moss on it adding all of her old sprays that is nothing left in some sorghum amaranth and sudane grass and then millet sometimes when i'm placing an item i like try so many places before i make up my mind of where it's going so making a cage setup can take four hours sometimes then her uneaten proso millet that she doesn't seem to like. Natural cotton bedding is used a lot in like Germany and the Netherlands and the lands around there. And I recently saw that you can use it as like barriers that it will hold other beddings in place. So that's exactly what I'm doing here to keep the care fresh and chipsy from going into the soil and so far that has worked it's now about a week since i did this setup and i'm adding some heather sprays that is i took from the now dried out heather plants that is also in this setup i get a few questions about watering it and now it's dead and it's dry and it's still a little pink so I just now I don't need to water it and I think that that worked great now my favorite part the herbs this is dried birch leaves I got these from Mixorama Mixorama ships to about all of the EU countries and I'm adding them to where the bedding is exposed. I decided I needed to add something to the teacup, so I went with some dried sunflower petals that are also from Mixorama that I recently got. And now some rose petals. And that's how the setup turned out. And I'm really happy with it. This is definitely my favorite setup so far that I've done myself. There are a few pictures of the finished setup. When I was done filming, I added these cards to the front and the back of the cage that I had forgotten in the video. Here's the overall setup and then a nice area and thank you for watching